सी आई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास फोर टाइटल्ड मैथ मैजिक फोर चैप्टर थ्री टाइटल्ड अ ट्रिप टू भोपाल पार्ट टू पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन Shankar sees the drawings in the rocks and says, "This painting also has very big bisons." Hey, I got an idea. I will count the bisons and you count the deer in the paintings. To which Bonu Mala replies, "I will count people. Let's see which are the most bisons, deer, or people." There is a picture given here on page number twenty-nine, in which. Bisons, deer, and people are drawn in the caves of Bhimbetka. While observing the paintings, one of the boy students says, "Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. I got thirty-seven bisons. Ah, uh, uh, one hundred and twelve, one hundred thirteen, one hundred fourteen. I got one hundred seventeen deer. <laughs> Yay! How many more deer are there than bisons? Dash. But Bonumala is the happiest because the number of people is even more than the number of deer and bisons together. Her count is less than two hundred. How many people must Bonumala have counted? Two hundred and fourteen, one hundred and fifty-four. One hundred and thirty-four, or one hundred and seventy-seven. The guide tells them that there are six hundred cave paintings in all. It is time to leave Bhimbetka. They have spent one hour there. What time is it? Dash. They are now moving towards Bhopal. They should reach there in less than one hour at about dash o'clock. Page number thirty. Lunch time. The children are hungry by this time, so they take out their lunch packs. Biscuits, oranges, and bananas are also distributed in all the buses. Each child is to be given one orange, one banana, and five biscuits. All the children take oranges and biscuits, but thirty-eight children do not take bananas. How many oranges, biscuits, and bananas are distributed? Manjit and Bhanu quickly finish their lunch and start asking puzzles to pass the time. Manjit says, "Tell me the number which is exactly between hundred and one hundred and fifty." Bhanu says, "One twenty, no, one thirty, no, it is." One twenty-five. Manjit says, "Right. Okay. You ask now." Other children join in. Everyone is asking puzzling questions. The first student asks the puzzle. I gave four toffees, each to four of my friends, and three toffees are left with me. How many toffees did I have? Another student asks another puzzle. What numbers can you make using three, five, and seven? You can make three fifty-seven and five thirty-seven. What others? The third student asks another puzzle. A number becomes double if it is increased by eight. What is the number? Children can be asked to solve many more similar questions or puzzles, both orally and in writing. They should also be encouraged to explain the strategies they use. Page number thirty-one. Another student thinks of a puzzle and asks, "Hmm, think of a number which can be divided by two, three, and five, and comes between twenty-five and fifty." And another student asks another puzzle. A small ant climbs three centimeter in one minute, but slips down two centimeter. How much time will it take to climb two centimeter? Can you solve these? Try them out. 
Which boat do we take? They are so lost in puzzles that they do not notice they have reached the lake. It is a very big lake with a small island in it. The lake looks very beautiful at this time. There are a lot of ducks making a loud noise. Some children give them popcorn. There is a drawing made here on page number 31 of a lake. There are many ducks swimming in the lake. Two people are boating. Many children and adults are waiting in a line to start boating. Some children are playing near the lake. Now comes the exciting part. It is time to go for boating. They have to choose which boat to take. But that is not easy. Page number 32 There are different kinds of boats. Each has a different ticket price and also different trip times. Here on page number 32, there is a table given. This table has been divided into three different sections. First section reads name of the boat. Second one reads ticket price and third one reads trip time. The first boat name is Double Decker. The ticket price is rupees 30 and the trip time is 45 minutes. The name of the second boat is Paddle Boat. Ticket price is rupees 15 and trip time is 30 minutes. The third one is Motor Boat. The ticket price is rupees 25 and the trip time is 20 minutes. The fourth boat is Boat with Oars. Ticket price is rupees 15 and trip time is 45 minutes. There is a drawing made on page number 32 with all these details written on a board. Many students and teachers are observing the names of the boats, the prices of the ticket and the trip time written on the board. There is a picture given here on page number 32 of a steamer. There are two different talking bubbles. In the first one, a student says, Four of us will take a paddle boat and race with Gauri and her group. Another student says, We will take the motor boat. It is costly but fun. Zoom! Based on the table showing ticket rates, trip time, etc., some questions are given in the book. Children should be motivated to make many more questions themselves. Page number 33 There is a picture of a lake given here on page number 33. There are two talking bubbles given here. One of the student sees the lake and says, Let us take the oar boat. It is not costly and we get more time for a peaceful ride. After this, another student says, Hey, we are going on the double-decker. It, it also has music. It costs a lot, but we get more time. Indra and Bhanu first went in the motorboat and then took the oar boat. How much did they pay for both the boats? Rupees dash. How much time did they get for both rides? Dash. One group of children went for the double-decker trip. They paid rupees 450 in total. How many children went for the double-decker trip? Dash. Which boat makes two trips in one hour? Which boat takes less than half an hour to complete a trip? Which boat gives them the most time taking the least money? Javed went twice for boating. He paid a total of rupees 40 and boated for 50 minutes. Which two boats did he take? Dash. Time to return. Children enjoy different boat rides till 4 o'clock. It is time to return. Now they will not stop anywhere and reach back in two hours. So, they should reach Hoshangabad by dash o'clock. There is a drawing given here on page number 33 in which children can be observed going back from the lake 
to Hoshangabad using the same mini buses they came in. Page number 34. Find out. Have you ever been on a school trip? How many children were there in all? How did you go and how far? How much time did it take? Try to find out the cost of travel for each child. Practice time. 1. There are four very old cave paintings. Mark the oldest. A. 4,200 years old. B. 1,000 years old. C. 8,500 years old. D. 1,300 years old. 2. One bus can carry 48 children. How many children can three buses carry? About dash A. 100 B. 200 C. 150 3. Which pair of numbers add to make more than 500? A. 152 and 241 B. 321 and 192 C. 99 and 299 D. 401 and 91 4. What happened at what time? Draw lines to match. In the first column, different activities done have been given. The activities are crossed the Narmada Bridge, looked at Bhim Betaka paintings, at the petrol pump, boating in the lake, had lunch, returned to Hoshangabad. And in the second column, the time of doing these activities has been given. The timings are 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9, 10 a.m., 12, 30 p.m., 11, 30 a.m., 9, 30 a.m. One example has been solved for you in this question. Like, crossed the Narmada Bridge. This activity was done at 9.10 a.m. You were just listening to Chapter 3, titled, A Trip to Bhopal. Part 2 ends here. Narrators, Shalini Singh and Vaibhav Srivastav. Sound recordists, Batilang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar. Assistance in production by Shanu Muksim and Jagbandhu Jana Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary This book was presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India